Jeff. It's been a while. <laughs> 18 years. Yeah. 15. 15. Is that what it was? 15 years. And do you know what I remember the most? This is exactly where we sat. Yep. Right here. Hasn't changed at all, has it? Neither have we. Well, one of us might have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> I love these shoots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. How quick's it gone, mate? You know, how quick's it gone? Sitting here now, at the same, same table. Well, what would you have said when we were sat here? You were talking about how proud you were, local lad breaking into the team, you were just finding the way. If we were sat here that day, and I'd said to you then, between now and the next time you and I sit here, you'll have played exactly 500 games more for West Ham. What would you have said? I would have probably said that you've been in the pub next door. <laughs> when I was young and I got a taste of what it's like to play and that fulfilment of playing for West Ham and the team you support was like addictive, you know, I, I wanted more of it. I've thrived off that at, at times, it's been incredibly difficult at times at West Ham but what I can say when I, when I finish playing in a week's time or whatever it is, that whether it was tough or going incredibly well I've been the same person and I've always tried to be honest and uh, be honest with the players and the manager and, and the fans at times that they could always rely on me to, as I said before, lace up my boots and, and go again and, uh, and that's what I'm most proud of. Hang on, how come I've got, how come I've got double pie and double mash again? Last time. Lovely, thank you. How come I've got more than him? What are you trying to say? <laughs> That's unreal how you've remembered that, see? No, I think she's looked at me and thought he needs that. <laughs> well, <I don't> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had four lives, though. <laughs> Let's be honest, looking at this, you were talking about growing up, you could get the... Although you were at Arsenal as a kid, getting occasional tickets for West Ham, your dad would get you one for your birthday. A ticket for West Ham was luxury. So to have played for West Ham yeah. and to have that enjoyment for the last 15 years, it's beyond dreams, isn't it? I've probably lived and been lucky enough to live every West Ham fan's dream. To be able to play for West Ham, let alone captain the, 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 the club through the last ever game at the Bolin, uh, the new stadium, a, a European tour like we've just had, and the nights like Lyon and Seville have just been, been incredible. All things considered, would you change a thing? A single thing? Probably the last minute penny against Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> I would have rather, I would have rather the guy had died the other way, to be honest. I've always believed this. It's a really important thing in life to know when to leave a really good party. But do you feel you're leaving at a time where not only the club are doing well, they're on the cusp of Europe, but also there's been a reconnection with the fans and after the period of settling into the new stadium, there's a coming together. I've always said to myself, that I want to retire from the game and I didn't ever want the game to retire me. Don't get me wrong, the stars have aligned these last two seasons for myself because of the seasons we've had. I've left the club in a much better state. Uh, I'm proud of that. Um, we've got an incredible bunch of players, uh, a great bunch of staff. But you're right, it's, for me, getting the exit right was, was bang on and I feel like I've done that. You've got one game at home left, just how much of an emotional occasion do you think it will be? My first thought about it is that can we, can we actually get a result because we're still, we're still yeah. trying to get into Europe. So I sat with a manager the other day and I said, boss, look, I know obviously the situation we're in and, I, and I'm in and I don't want you to sacrifice winning the game for me. He can't so, pick you out of sentiment, simple as that. Exactly or, that, or part exa you. exactly that, Jeff. And I hope that uh, everything goes well and and um, and I can say bye to the the fans that have paid the money and, and supported me for the last 18 years. And what does the future hold? I don't know, Jeff. to be honest. I've, I've sort of left it open that the manager, as I said, has made it clear to me that he wants me to be involved and he wants me to stay. But uh, obviously I'm going to have to speak to the owners and and, and see, see, see what their, um, their view is and, and, and see where we go from there. The obvious question is, it was your boyhood dream to be a West Ham player. Is the dream as an adult to be a West Ham manager? At the minute, no, not at all. I, I've not even thought about that. 
uh, look, listen, you can never say never because sometimes you come out of football and then you really miss it. But I've seen the way managers work and at the minute, um, well, I haven't even got my eyes on that, no, not at all. You never know, though. As a special treat for you, I give you, you can give us another go, because you didn't fancy it last time. Mm. Oh, mate. <laughs> are you gonna, are you gonna, do you like it? Jelly deals? Yeah. Um, <laughs> jelly deals. If he was a proper East Ender, he'd eat that, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Is that for you? Hey, fair play for trying, fella. Fair you play. can eat mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd eaten this throughout your career, you could have had a very different career. Do you think? Worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad, is it? It's actually all right. <laughs> That's actually all right. Oh, he's back in for more. You were just a young boy when I last saw you. Now, you're appreciating the finer things in life. That's lovely. Do you want mine? <laughs> That's actually really nice. I couldn't, eat, I couldn't eat an old bowl of that. No, no I'll I'll that. Just want to say thanks very much for everything. No, no, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. us as well. Um, a fantastic career. Not many can boast of a career like yours. That many appearances for their boyhood club. It's absolutely phenomenal. So many, many congratulations. Thank you, Jeff. You're getting all emotional on me now. <laughs> <laughs> and also, because you're the only one who ever takes me for food. Yeah, I'm not paying for it. <laughs> <laughs>